This is a 66-year-old Caucasian male patient referred for endoscopic diagnosis and treatment of early Barrett's cancer. During pullback, a mucosal irregularity can be visualized at the 3 o'clock position. After spraying with 1.5% acetic acid solution, the mucosal surface can be better visualized. Regular Barrett's mucosa becomes whitish and has a cerebriform mucosal pattern. At the 1 to 3 o'clock position, irregular mucosa with reddish appearance can be seen as a sign for early Barrett's neoplasia. We usually perform marking around the lesion with about 5 mm distance to the visible borders. In this case, we used argon plasma coagulation with the VIO generator and a power setting of 30 watts and effect 2. The endoscope with the mounted ligation device is reintroduced and suction is applied at the proximal margin of the lesion. Make sure that the marking sites are sucked into the ligation cylinder. After that, the rubber band is released in order to create a pseudopolyp. The snare is advanced and placed over the pseudopolyp. When closing the snare, make sure that the polyp is cut underneath the rubber band. Afterwards, the resected specimen is caught with the polyp grasper and retrieved. A second ligation was performed. Make sure that there is a slight overlap to the previous resection site to avoid mucosal islands or bridges with neoplastic tissue left behind. On the other hand, it is very important to avoid larger overlap because the muscularis propria of the previous resection site can be sucked into the ligation device, resulting in a perforation after resection. After fourth resection, you have a nice view onto the muscle layer without any residual neoplastic tissue. The fifth resection resulted in a spurting bleeding from a submucosal vessel. A clip is placed onto the bleeding vessel under endoscopic view. At the end of the procedure, the whole Barrett's cancer has completely been resected and there are no residual markings. The patient should stay on clear liquids for one day and we recommend 3 times 40 milligrams of proton pump inhibitors for 6 weeks in order to facilitate healing.